This is a pretty interesting project I'm working on. I have a problem where I need to power a high power LED in such a way that it always receives the same amount of current, and actually more specifically a modulatable amount of current, regardless of what voltage is applied. And to do this, I made a little demo circuit here to test out the theory, and it's pretty neat. Pretty much the way it works is I have two knobs here. I only adjust the one on the right, but this knob lets me adjust the intensity of this LED, and I can adjust it very, very finely. Um, now you're, you're probably thinking this is pretty normal and straightforward, you can do that with a potentiometer. But the special thing here is that the amount of current driven through the LED is always the same, no matter how much voltage we give it. Uh, this is an LM324 operational amplifier, which I'm using for part of the circuit, and I'll discuss it in a moment. An IRF510 uh, in-channel MOSFET, and then a very small value, high current rating resistor as well, and then a regular LED. Eventually I'm going to change the current and put a high power LED in this place, but this works for now. Uh, to show you what I mean, I have the gate of the MOSFET voltage shown on the voltmeter, and this is in 1.85 volts right now. And I'm using the power supply I made a little while ago to always apply 5 volts to the operational amplifier because that's where it's most happy but I'm going to increase the voltage to my LED so right now the LED is running at 5 volts so normally if you put 5 volts into a single LED like this you're going to burn it out um, but I'll, I'll reduce the brightness a little bit and show you exactly what I mean as I increase the voltage to the LED the intensity doesn't change and I can go all the way up to over 30 volts and now this LED is seeing 30 volts, but the intensity is exactly the same. I still have the ability to modulate it as well, just like before. It looks like it might be potentially a little bit brighter, but the idea is pretty close to the same. Um, my thought is that once I have a steady voltage that's not realistically going to change, at least its maximum won't change. Once I identify a maximum voltage, I can set the potentiometer here and have a maximum safe intensity and then I can do all the pulse width modulation I want and I know that I'm never going to overload the current of the LED since I already set my max voltage and I'm current regulating here. So how does that work? Well we take a pretty simple concept of a voltage follower and an operational amplifier. Uh, this is pretty simple where if we give it an inward voltage it always tries to extremely quickly make the outward voltage the same as what it sees on the input. Uh, if we take it to the next step, we can cause the output to drive a switching MOSFET to uh, run current through a load. And then we put an extremely small value resistor. I'm usually, I'm actually using a tenth of an ohm resistor, but anything really small just to prevent this from seeing ground should be sufficient. Uh, do a little math or, or overkill it, making sure you have high power devices here because a lot of current will be going through this if you have a high current load but this is what I'm using to adjust my uh, input voltage and this allows me to drive a more or less constant current to in this case an LED regardless of what voltage is, is applied here and again this LED looks pretty much the same at 30 volts as it does when I drop it down to I don't know, 8 volts pretty much the same so Hopefully I can make some improvements here, get some microcontroller uh, control of intensity and pulse width modulation, and then put in a high current LED and uh, see how it goes from there. But it's a pretty solid start.